Hi friends, in this window we have a date entry where the user can select a date or change any date and suppose we, by click this button we can clear the date whatever is entered and go for a fresh selection. We will see how to do this. Here is our blank template. In this you can see we have imported our uh, from TK calendar the date entry. This you other functionality how to interlock this calendars and all. You can see our other videos. You can if you have any doubts on how this calendar works you, you can leave it in our comment section. We'll respond to that. Now let's add a calendar first. So we'll say cal. There's a calendar object. Now it is date entry. Now what is my parent window is my underscore w at line number three we have declared now we are selling select uh, mode S select mode is equal to now equal to it is day cle select mode is day now this calendar will press it on our grid so let's say grid now row equal to zero so it is the top uh, first uh, item in the in our rows and column also we are giving equal to 0 so first one now I, we are not flushing with the left edge so giving a pad x of 15 and similarly from the top edge we are also giving a pad y of 10 now after this let's just add the button which we will reset it so tk dot button my parent window is my underscore w what text do you want to write it we can write it clear or make it reset clear reset whatever you want to write it write it here that's all there now slightly will increase the font to 24 now next line we am just coming I am writing the command what command I will write it this is when the button is clicked this will be executed so <coughs> I am saying lambda now the command is cal cal is my calendar at the top I, we have already declared it delete starting from zero till end that's all now let's just save this and we'll run it once here it is okay sorry we are not placed the button on the grid so that's why it's not visible so let me just come here b1 dot grid equal to row equal to say again um, our row is 0 same row to the right of it so row is same as what the calendar has and column equal to 1 now pad x means from the left edge it is 10 so that's all now let me just save this run it one so yeah here is the reset button now this is the calendar i can pick up a date now moment i click this that that uh, whatever entry is there it is deleted or it is resetted now again once again i can click this so this is how i can manage the entry that's all this was a question asked so it's uh, i hope it is clear and this can be a part of your other uh, widgets also you can manage it by uh, click of this button in that way we have to use a function because other widgets also we have to reset it by using different different techniques for different types of widget you will have so i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we frequently do that and if you have any doubts suggestion questions put it in the comment section below and accordingly we'll modify our script Please share this video and thank you for watching.